happy. Hello everyone, it's me Pamela and I'm live. That's right. Okay, just got to make sure I have everything I need for today. Let me see. Because you know what? Guess what I'm all excited about? Hey Allison, heard you have book that's got lunch. We're going to have to bring you on. But I'm so excited about today. Why? We're going to learn how to make face masks. No so face masks. Thanks to the amazingly talented Jennifer Tryon, who will be logging on shortly. So I hope you all have your um, fabric and all your other utensils. I'm missing one thing. Uh -huh. Where did it go? My, my. Okay. All right. You know what I'm missing. Where'd it go? If I was my favorite glue, where would I be? Uh-huh. Oh, fair and glue. Oh, am I going to have to use a glue gun and burn myself? I really, really was hoping for my fabric cap. Everybody see where... Oh, Jennifer try and join. Okay, hi, Jennifer. Anytime. I'm excited to introduce you. I know I misplaced something, but I'll find it shortly. I just forget where I put it. It's my most amazing glue. We love her. She, you know, um, I can't wait because before she even teaches, I'm going to have to interview her and brag about her a little because she loves when people brag about her. Not at all. No, don't think she likes it at all. Truth be told. But I cannot wait. So, Jennifer, anytime you want to pop on, I'll... However you do that, because I'm not good at that. I'm only good at accepting. We'd love to hear from you. And we're getting more fabulous people to follow. And I misplaced my glue. Where did I put it? I might have to get my son to bring me. No, I know I had it. Oh, where, oh, where did I put my most important... Oh, hi, Bert, are you going to... Oh, look, she asked to join Viewed, go live. Waiting for Jennifer, because she's like the most amazing person in the world. Oh my goodness, there she is. Oh, she's got a very fancy studio. So notice the difference between Miss Jennifer's awesome, neat, immaculate studio. We're not even going to show my little space because it's not <laughs> like hers. I had this awesome glue and I knew I threw it somewhere and I'm going to find it eventually, but that's okay. Jennifer, this is Jennifer. Yes, hi Jen. Yes, she is amazing. I agree. Whoever Berta is, she is a amazing. So Jennifer, before you teach us how to make um um these masks that I'm so excited about, oh, I think somebody knows you. Is that is that your relative? Uh yeah, Allison. That's my cousin. Oh, that's so cute. Hi, Allison. But Allison's never met you before. Okay, so <laughs> let me explain how awesome Jennifer is. Yes, For those of you that don't know Jennifer, Jennifer, <laughs> who did not really send me the, a bio that I get to like research on, so I did a lot oh, of research. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's okay, because I pretty much feel like we're kindred spirits. Aww, let, me I let, me let me tell you, I met jo Jennifer um, at a craft show, gosh knows how many years ago when I was begging for money, because that seems to be what I do for a living. <laughs> and yes. Oh, you're one of Jen's followers from her Crafters Companions page. Well, that is awesome, Berta. So then I'm sure she's, you've already made this, this mask and you're just going to watch me fail at this mask, but that's okay. But Jennifer first was on Global National News, right? Yes. I was yes. a reporter for 18 years. Man, That's, I'm watching the news now going, boy, I know what I'd be doing. Yes, she would be front lines, um, probably not necessarily, she would be not doing that physical distancing so well, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I'd be getting right in there probably. <laughs> yeah, but she would be protected with the fanciest masks you can imagine and the best gloves. See? Cute but ice cream cone ones, gorgeous florals. See, but so then Jennifer met me and decided she liked me. <laughs> oh, go figure. Or I always say she wanted to put up with me. 
don't know. Yeah. And so then she nominated me for something crazy, like some national hero or something. Like, how crazy was that so many years ago? Yeah, but we it, had a segment, like, um, uh, hometown heroes or everyday yeah. hero. Yeah. And I thought, I know an everyday hero, someone who is giving yeah, I, all of themselves, going into hospitals. I know Jen is blurry, and I don't know how she fixes that. Maybe it's worth oh, a Oh, I'm fun. blurry? That's what this guy just said. Bert, Roberta said. Oh. Maybe I don't it's look connected. blurry on the screen. Do I look blurry on your screen? On my screen, a little, actually. But oh. I was just figuring it's where you're connected. Huh. It's not mine. Let me, let me check. Hold on. Okay. Keep See? Talking. Good. Okay. So then she did this whole segment on me. Funny thing is she also got sick at the time that they were filming. Oh, look, and it says there's, but yes, blurry. She's getting clearer, but still blurry. Right, right. I agree. But then she did this, like, so she was supposed to come into the hospitals and crap, but talk the irony, she got sick. <laughs> so then she couldn't crap. But I guess your internet issues are back, Jen. Somebody, you got lots of friends that follow you that totally can tell you exactly what's wrong with your internet. I, I was busy telling everybody that, remember, if you recall, you were supposed to come in and film me, but you were sick. Yes, I remember. I thought that I was, was totally sick then. I could right? not have come that time. Yes. So it's your internet issues are back, Jen. Somebody told you that. I don't know who that is. Well, that's um, okay. We still can do this. I'm I professional. Think it is what it is. <laughs> that's right. It will come in, come out. Don't worry. I got it. We've already got her on our Instagram, and we're going to be putting this all up. Actually, even my web guys, because I don't even know what I'm doing on my web, they're going to put it on our front page. So, um, all those links that you sent us just because we think it's so important. So you've got nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Oh, look there. I see you're clearer now. See? Yeah. And then, so then she filmed me and then I started stalking her because then she became like this crafter extraordinaire. <laughs> well, it's funny because like crafting was something I was doing for free in my basement at night anyway, just to stay like kind of sane. And the fact that I was able to merge my two worlds, like TV and the thing I was doing as a passion anyway, I still sort of wake up in the morning and go, huh, I can't believe it. Okay, so well, it's really been a great transition. Well, talk some funny stories, you know, so much that I stalk you that, as you know, that my health keeps fluctuating and I've had many hospital visits. And I got to tell you, <laughs> you're on some like channel where you're selling stuff on TV, right? Sometimes you sell Sometimes, some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have seen you in from my hospital bed and I'm like telling them all, I know her. And they're like, no, ma'am, you need to rest. I said, no, no, put that back on. I want to watch her. They're like, are you sure don't want to? No, I just want to watch her. So there you go. There's my like, how much I even stalk you. But well, honestly, good stuff. you're on TV quite a lot also. And I, I'll say I've said the same thing. And I got to give a shout out to you. I had a card making event um, during the holidays and you were you the first that. one to show up. And, um, you know, we help each other out. It's a really good thing. Well, That's what the crafting community really is about. I, I've got to say the crafting community is really good about that. And I, and I hope now between you and me, we can plug it. And I do plug a lot of crafting companies, even though they don't necessarily give to me because my answer is it's so important to keep crafting. Like I, I've got to tell you, I think, so many things come out of these times where we forget to go back to the basics and crafting is really a basic. Now the only perk is we have someone like you that we can go on the internet and learn how to actually do it properly. Imagine being quarantined in the days where we didn't have social media and we didn't have a way to still stay connected or even get instructions. <laughs> I, I don't even want to tell you what, like, if it you would think be my very, was very different bad. if it was the yes. time of the Spanish flu or any outbreaks from, from the past. Yes, but lots of crafting was done then. And every oh, tragedy, you better believe it. You better and, believe it. And, for sure. and I've got to tell you, every tragedy that we follow that has horrific times, you always see some of the best, best crafting done during those times. Like you've seen for quilts, sure. like I've seen quilts, artworks, like just things that are being showcased now to say, look, this was done 
during people's totally. tough times. And I think it's great. I have baked more bread in the last three weeks <laughs> than I have, like, you know, you can't even buy flour because I think everybody is getting the same sense of, a, we've got a little bit more time on our hands. We're home. <laughs> and just sort of returning to this way of like, I, I've got to be more self-sufficient. Yeah, I agree. Look, there's a child life disaster relief. I get a lot of child life people that follow us. Hello, child life. I, we need to give a shout out to these people. I don't know if you know what the, no flour in Sudbury. There's no flour anywhere. Okay, like, let's just start with that. Forget it. So when I'm doing a craft, we try not to um, do uh flour based crafts anymore because yeah, anything probably... with like macaroni or like we, we got we got other uses for yeah the flour and the macaroni yeah <laughs> so but seriously the child life workers are the ones that do these crafts that we're doing now in the hospitals so the beauty about this is that i know all my child life specialists because a lot of them can't watch it at 11 have already gone on to the the our instagram that we posted of your links and are all literally um, taking stuff and improvising the product so they can do this with the kids in their rooms. And it's Amazing. those people. With, so I just want to give a shout out to them for doing what they do. People think it's only nurses and doctors and all this. There's so many other people out there, right? Yeah. Yay. You can look, you can, we could craft out, we could clap outside, but like I'm in such a residential area that I don't think even a car drives up on our street. <laughs> for sure. For sure. You know what? Um, I've been hearing so much about, you know, and thanking people and, you know, the mask making has really incited, you know, a lot of feedback. You know, the, I wasn't five minutes. So I did a segment on global right. on the morning show last week where I made a mask that nurses from hospitals weren't texting saying, can you please send me and my family some of those, you know, homemade masks? I, I don't have time to make them, but would you be so kind? And, you know, can you send me some and can you send me some? You know, there's a real need out there. And, and you know, talking about being self-sufficient, you know, I really hope that people will, you know, take some of the instructions that I've posted online and try to make, you know, a mask for themselves out of whatever fabric you might have lying around. So long as it's a 100% cotton, you're good to go. And that usually means a cotton that doesn't have a stretch. So like a quilting cotton, or if you wanted to upcycle, you know, one of your husband's old shirts, uh, a man's shirt or, or a woman's blouse that doesn't have any stretch would be great material to upcycle into a mask. And you don't oh. have to know how to sew, even though I, I, you're not seeing it, but I always have a sewing machine like right beside me. But I also have a tutorial on making one with a glue gun. So you can go and follow both ways. And, you know, it's really not quite enough to just tie like a bandana around. You really need to have a few layers of protection. Um, that's the recommendation, even though I have to caution that these are not a replacement for N95 masks and they shouldn't be worn by healthcare workers. But the recommendation right now is that if you, as a, a regular person, are going out in public, that you should wear a cloth mask to protect others from your droplets. You, you, so you know where they're also, yeah, sorry, you know where they're also great? So I, I have to go into the hospital now. I mean, I go anyways, but for every five days, but now even when I have my treatment, I yeah. have to be with the mask on and they've said, so if you're a patient and you're just going for a checkup, they're great. They've said that we can use our, our washable ones in the yeah. hospital and not use the ones that, because we're not 100%. really in environment, and they said these exactly. are great. And those masks that normally a patient might be given when they walk into the door of a hospital, those need to be conserved yeah. for the people who are coming in contact with people who are sick. And so, yeah, if we can use these when we're heading out for our own appointments or even just to get our groceries, if that's the recommendation, then hey, what does it hurt? And you'll hone a little bit of your crafty skills in making them. And remember, your stitches don't need to be perfect for you to be protected, even if you're not the best sewer out there, you can still attempt a project like this and feel proud and good that you're protecting yourself and your family. Maybe you can send someone to some loved ones and that you are doing your part uh, to stay safe and keep other people safe. Okay, so listen, you know what fabric I found for you to teach me, right? <laughs> What's that from? It's a pillowcase. It's one Perfect. that I don't use and I, did, I had two. 
I had to, I'll be very honest. I had to, oh, I love Pro Tutu Studio. We're going to have them on. Just so you know, they do costumes. And I wonder if he's now doing some masks. Because they're mean, anybody that has a sewing machine, I think is sewing masks at this point. And if you're done sewing masks, you've moved on to uh, clasps to extend yeah. masks at the back. Or you've moved on to scrub caps. Or you're doing wash bags. There's all kinds of things if you don't have elastic. Elastic is hard to come by and people are fed up with bias tape and making the strips. Then you can do um, extenders. You can do scrub caps. Um, wash bags are really popular. There's lots of tutorials that you can use exactly with the material that you've got there, Pamela. A plain old pillowcase will work. Okay. See, so this is how I did it. I saw your list and I said, okay, well, I have to work with what I've got in my house because yeah. I'm... And that's how, and, and I'm kind of like that person. So I know that I, in a perfect world, have the most amazing craft supplies. I really do just at my starch unit. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I had to look and see with what I had in my house. So you said 100% cotton. So I just quickly looked inside the pillowcases. This one's going down. Woohoo, out of the way. And I have this one. So perfect. Now what do I do? So what you want to do is you're going to want to cut and I will cut that all at once. First, by folding your fabric. And if you don't have a rotary cutter, you can use scissors, but a rotary cutter will work and a mat will work the quickest. But if you don't have that, scissors are fine too. But you're gonna wanna have three pieces of nine by seven material. And essentially what you're doing is making a pocket. So once you get your, your pieces cut, so you've got like two, three pieces so that look in this in this case i actually have a ruler which, okay because i'm at my desk have to so. use what they have on hand not everybody's going to be a quilter that has you know a rotary cutter and a quilting ruler and a self-healing mat so if you don't have that just use your regular scissors that's totally fine um so I can i steal like using regular regular scissors um instead of going nine by um seven which is what i've cut out of this because it's very precise you might give yourself another half inch to kind of have a little bit more seam allowance to fold in and work with okay i got a very serious question though when you're referring to nine because as we are inches in, thank you yeah sorry i did i no, don't mean this true. horribly i just I, I do a lot in the u.s uh, can you pass i know that i've seen you I, I don't even want to tell you how many places I've seen you on your little thing. Now, probably you're supposed to mark it with something like, uh, can I use a Sharpie just to mark my pit? Sure. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So if I, you, can, you can mark it and because it's not, it's not going to show okay. uh, because all those seams are going to end up being turned in. Okay. So now you're saying nine by ten, nine by seven. So if I should go 10 inches, is that better? Or if not? I were you, I'd probably go 10 inches. Um, I'm also going to give you a bit of a heads up here. This this project is probably going to take you about an hour. Oh, okay. So we're going to do this. You'll just, we don't need to do it for an hour. Just give me the basic <laughs> hands out. But I well, promise I wanna, you. But I, I want to caution everybody. If you're making this for the first time, set aside an hour and you'll get it done. And then every subsequent mask after that, you know, the, the time it takes to make one is going to be shortened. Okay. So here's the deal. Here's the deal with you, Jennifer. You're going to walk me through it. I'm not going to really do it yet. I'm going to make my marks because I did that. Yeah. By tomorrow's episode or by tonight, I'll have You'll it have create. One. I will have good. one and post me in it because, I, you yes, know, I, 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 can't wait I to think see that's, it. well, God help yeah, me. But yes, okay. I, I think you're right because everybody, I mean, no offense to your crafting skills. I'm sure they're on top no, notch, no, but we don't want to no. turn anyone off of the process either. <laughs> okay, just just for the record, I started this live because I said, in theory, I'm a crafter. In my brain, I like to think I'm the best crafter in the world. But in reality, aren't we all? Aren't we all? In reality, so far, I've done this. This is called the wild <laughs> thing. We, we made this when I read the story, the wild thing. And then this is actually, which we actually do these in the hospital. I did crafts that we did in the hospital. And these are, I mean, they do them way more advanced, but this one was mine. And then I did this one here. So this is I the... mean, I'm not saying I'm having heart palpitations looking at them. I think it's great. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So listen. All crafting I... is good crafting. I remind myself that when I'm doing stuff with the kids, like, hey, just let your, just let it go. It's all good. 
decorating home crafts. Listen, I want to see your stuff. She's laughing. I think I'm very talented. I think you are too. I think you are too. There's no but, rules. You know, Yes. Well, well, not, well, I mean, some people are like, oh, no, have a play. Just I'm one of those people that like, okay. it goes wrong all the time. It good. really, really does. But I really do try to have it turn out good. <laughs> I really do want it to turn out. Except I, I'm for not, this. I, I have a hard time when I see it diverting from what the what I the image I had in my mind. Oh, then 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 trust me, I'll finish this up not on camera. <laughs> so that I, I probably will take two or three attempts before I'm willing to show you the yeah. one. So go okay, ahead. Let me so, walk you through it. Yeah. You, you, it is, even though I'm telling you it's going to take an hour, it may be a little less. And it's not, especially if you're using the glue gun, it's really not that hard. You want to make sure you're starting with two pieces of nine by seven fabric. Get it as even two? and squared up as you possibly can. Okay. Because, you know, your finished mask will turn out better if you pay a little bit of attention um, to the dimensions and how even it is. So if you've got a rotary cutter and ruler, that really will help. If not, use your scissors and just try to make it as straight as possible. Once you've got two pieces or three pieces cut, we want to put two pieces right sides together. So the pattern or whatever the uh, good side of the fabric goes together. And then I want you to sew or glue about two inches on either side right in the middle. And you can find the middle of, of anything. Just even do a finger press down the fabric like this so that you can find that middle line. So and that's the longer you know, side. That's the, okay. Yes, yes, you're doing it like the longest way. And then just put about two inches of stitches or glue, two inches on either side. Because then what you end up with, with when you open it up, open up one side and then open up the other side is you've got your two pieces and now this is the pocket. This is gonna be the part that goes against your face that's gonna allow you to put in, let me just see if I've got one here. I've been putting in the 3M furnace filters. Comes in like a big thing like this that you put in your furnace. Oh, that's what you meant. I couldn't understand what you meant. I was like, I don't know it, what you mean by that. I have a big that. one right here. So I got this, we actually had one of these in our basement because we have an extra right. one for the Right, so furnace. we do have one in our basement. I just have yes. one Yes, if you have there. an extra one in your basement, you can take the chicken wire off the front and then what you're left with is that big like accordion-like sheet because it's really zigzagged in there. And then you've got a whole... Oh, oh wait, we froze, no, hold on. Hold on. You froze. Okay, wait. Am I back? The, you're back. What did you say? Okay, you got, so you got I just whole... took off the chicken wire. Right. And I ended up with that big accordion piece. Violet, do you want to pass me that? That big accordion piece that I cut down into four by six yet. Four yeah. by six little pieces. Yeah. And this is the, and, and on the back of the filter, I mean, by no means is this N95 standard. However, there is a percentage that it gives you on the back for viruses, bacteria. I mean, it's a lot of dust and pollen. It's a furnace filter. It's not perfect, yes. but it is something a little bit stronger than just your regular cotton. Absolutely. So, yeah, so then you can take out your filter because you're, it's got a pocket in it, okay? And you can change the filter and it's much easier to change than have to wash this every day. I mean, you will want to wash these, but being able to have a big, I mean, this will last a long time. You know, I've been cutting this up and sending it to people and stuff like that. So it's just a tip. Um, by no means is it a replacement no. for N95, but that, it is something. That is genius. Uh, that is so, that's, look, we've seen a lot, look, I got to tell you, I've seen people put a thong on their face for a mask. <laughs> and I've or seen, uh, I, I don't, I, I've, I've seen it, the Italian, some video went live, a, an Italian older was trying to show how uh, you use a, a pad. I mean, <laughs> I I've seen someone use a baby diaper. So um, truth be told, I mean, all jokes aside, the fact that you put a filter in. So I have masks because of my health that I got a long time ago just literally my shipment arrived just before the whole outbreak and mine comes with a built-in filter but right. 
But yours, how amazing are they? That Because one of the people's complaint always is, I don't know, is it like really, there's no filter. Like, how do we know it's good? I know. You, you and, solved and honestly, that. That's the, that's the real hesitation I have at even promoting cloth masks is that you really don't. There is not a lot of efficacy. You know, I spent five years as a health reporter. I get that they, that, uh, real science spends time uh, testing things, um, doing studies to find out. And all the studies on cloth masks have shown, no, yeah. they, th it's not going to work. So there's part of me that goes, why, why, why am I wasting my green fabric? But then there's another part of me that common sense wise goes, something is better than nothing. Well, and so, okay. So I don't want people to have is a false sense of security. Oh, so definitely not. I like the filter. At least it's a little something more. Well, and I think that it's a great little something more. You know what? I have a lot of friends who are, are nervous to even just go into their elevators. Yeah. And, and I think because they said the same thing. Well, it's just a fabric mask. And I'm like, well, it's still better. But now that I see that really what you could understand what that 3M thing did <laughs> on your list, I was like, oh, maybe it was an accident. But now yeah, that's I what see that is. And that's the critical part, I think. Yeah, that really is. So then, so then you, how do you sew those? So right. So now you've got your pocket that this is, this is the part that's going to go next to your face. So then you're going to take your third piece and you're going to get ready to sew in your elastic. Okay. I don't have an elastic. I, I found some really awesome ribbon. Ribbon. Yeah, ribbon. But it's that's strong fine. ribbon. Like, I, I, yeah, I, that's I fine. tried Whatever to break you it. Elastic, ribbon, um, you know, bias tape, either, even other strips of your same fabric. Oh, um, okay. I've seen people using hair elastics. With these uh, masks here, I had some dollar store, like, kind of string elastic. Um, I used and made tons of, of, of these ones with the dollar store elastic. Um, so, again, you're right. You use what you have. But this is the stage where you're going to want to sew it in. And you're just going to go ahead and about an inch down or half an inch down, um, put your um, elastic in place with either oh, a clip. Where did you put your, wait, where did you put your third, your third one? The third piece is still hanging loose. It's, oh, it's coming up. Okay. I got confused. Okay. So what are you putting onto it? This is the elastic oh, and I'm just clipping it. So you can use clothes okay. pins or you can use pins. I'm just using okay. clips because I've got them and um, but you can use just a regular sewing pin or clothes pins work just to, just to hold okay. it in place. So I'm clipping basically the elastic in four places about an inch from the top and the bottom. From the big so thing from it, that it all square. makes sense when I show you in a sec. Okay. So yeah. It's clipped here. Yeah. And it's also clipped at the bottom. Okay. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. And now is when you take your third piece and put it over top and make your little elastic sandwich. Okay. So put that third piece now inside those clips. So now if you're thinking about like an Oreo cookie, the elastic would be the cream and your two, your pocket is one side and your uh, third piece is the top side. Okay. And now it's all, uh, clipped in. Now, if you were gluing, you probably wouldn't need to use the clips. If you're gluing, you can just glue it down. Do you know what I mean? But if you're sewing yep. it, you have to have something to hold it together. And now I'm just going to sew along three sides, like one, two, three, so that I'm left with, let me just show you here. Look at you. You like got all the stages. That's why you're yeah, the crafter. I can tell. That's so I'm sewing people. along three sides so that I'm left with, yes, the elastics um, are, are in there, but I want a, like this to be open now at the bottom so that I can put my pipe cleaner. I'm using pipe cleaner, but you could use floral wire or a uh, garbage twist tag, tie, but I've been using pipe cleaner because I have lots of pipe cleaners. And the pipe cleaner, yeah, exactly. This is going to be your, the bridge for your nose. Oh, I couldn't figure out what the pipe cleaner was for. Okay, that's so clever. Yeah, it's going to help your mask hold its yep. shape. Yeah. And so the pipe cleaner, 
and a regular kids pipe cleaner like the kind you've got there is yeah. a little bit too long um, so you have to cut for it. this but don't cut it because we don't really need any extra sharp edges i just folded the ends of each oh. and then twisted them so that it's a little for extra durability really so i just twisted the ends and then you're going to put it as far up inside the pocket or sorry inside the bottom as you possibly can get it right up to the very top of your mask so that it's lined up super straight and then you're going to sew or glue that down got it and yep. if you're using a glue gun the bottom part is still open here so you'll be able to get your glue gun up in there and just tack down and, and press it down with your fingers so that that pipe cleaner is nice and you know got like a little channel you know what yep. i mean yeah yeah and then you're ready to sew the bottom shut. And then it's pretty much done, apart from, just like we saw with the furnace filter, how it has that zigzag, you know how like it, it, it's kind of like, the mask needs to have that too. It needs to have a way uh, to catch the germs and they'll fall with your breath inside uh, those That's pieces. why that happens, okay. That's why you need, that's why you need to have, that's why they recommend that style versus the ones that look a bit nicer, that are more sleek across your face. Um, they want a place for those germs to fall into. Right, so mine so, has a filter to fall in, I get it. For sure, for sure, much different. So to, to get the pleats, yeah, how'd you you're do gonna that? want to fold your project in half. So after it's all been sewn and glued after and After it's all been sewn, you're gonna fold it in half Aren't you glad you're not making this right now? Oh, oh yeah, because I'm going to rewatch this a hundred times to get yeah. one. Yeah. You're just fold just this so you half. know, this is my project for today. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Fold it in half, and then you're going to see that pleat line, or you can iron it too. Like ironing is good. Oh, and then yeah. fold it in half, like just, sorry, the top part meets the middle. Okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. So the quarter mark, and then the bottom meets the middle also so you're going to get another line and now we're not actually keeping it this way we're just we just want to have those lines as references because what we're going to do is we're going to pinch those lines and bring it down to the next line pinch the next one and bring it down that's cool and that's where you get those even pleats and then iron it iron it iron it iron it and i can use my iron it's, it hasn't been a long time I since know. it's collecting exactly. dust exactly I know sewing projects are how irons get used in the modern day. <laughs> or melting beads. <laughs> That's right. And so then you end up with the pleated part. And now right. um, you could, if you're doing, using a glue gun, you're going to put a little bead of glue in all of the pleats front and back. Okay. okay. Or you're going to top stitch right down that side. I'd go up and down a couple times because you don't want these coming apart. And so, or glue along that side too and you're pretty much done but wait so but where are the ribbons this whole time well so when you finish sewing your um your sides together you'll yeah. turn it right side out because you've sewn oh, remember nice. you sewed the elastic or your ribbon on the inside so when you turn yeah. it right side out they appear and there's no seam. Oh, uh, and so that, and then when it's like this is, that's when you do the, the zigzag. That's when you thing. put in the filter and then you can, well, you can put the filter in at the end too, like, cause you've got the pocket. Um, and then you sew that or glue that last part shut. Just remember so, that when you're sewing and gluing, you want to turn in these seams so that you don't have any like shaggy bits coming out. I'm going to send you a link to, I, I have um, um, a very fast gluing tutorial, but I have a slower, much slower step-by-step -step tutorial video. Yes, for all. <laughs> no, no, I'll walk no, you no. really through each one of these steps. Uh, there'll be no freezing, there'll be no blurred video. You know, it's a three camera shoot. <laughs> oh my goodness. So once you send it, we'll also put it up. I'm going to, if you share it, we'll share it however we can Great. through our Instagram TV and through Facebook. We'll just totally share it out there. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. So just so you know, this was uh, amazing. Like really, because really, as I said, I've seen people put thongs on their head. 
I don't know. know. That, I think some people like were thinking it's humorous, but the reality is, you know, <laughs> I, know. It, it is humorous, but let's think about it. This is great. I love that you showed us with the filter. I am so excited to do mine. Yeah. Um, my husband sews. He has a sewing machine. Good. But good. good. But, then, so we're, then try, try. No, no. Do the, do I'm going to do it. We're going to do a contest. He doesn't know it yet. He just doesn't you know, know it yet. You know what? Glue gun one, it works. And I washed it too, and it was fine. Well, so I'm going to use glue, and, and he's going to do fabric. He just doesn't know that I'm going to challenge him to this. This is going to be like my <laughs> excitement for today because um, I don't sew. I don't know if I've ever told you the story of me sewing or if you've ever watched me on this. Uh, Naomi does ballet and mm -hmm. when she first got her sh shoes and she graduated where they had to start sewing their ribbons on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the first time I did it and I handed it to her afterwards, she goes, mommy, what is all this red stuff? And I said, listen, this is called a labor of love. Every time. That's blood. I <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I, I'm not very good. Maybe, maybe now that I've got glasses, I could do it better. But the sewing and then the heart and then you. Well, honestly, Pam, it happens to the best of us. I was live on the shopping channel last year sometime, and we had this machine on and sewing and talking live. And <laughs> yes, everything's going great. Look at it. It turns out perfect. Even when I'm not paying attention, wham, did I sew my finger. And it started bleeding and bleeding. And we're live. And I just started wrapping it up in my shirt like this because like it wouldn't stop like it was really bleeding and I actually that skirt. Yeah. yeah and i wrapped it up and i could see it going through my skirt like the blood going through my skirt <laughs> oh my god let me have got to get off the air but we so, like those shows are an hour long and it was somewhere around like the halfway mark and i thought pressure pressure who cares about the skirt just like and i was trying to sew like one handed and just keep going like but that's what it's, I mean, not that I want to say that that's a good thing either. But, you know, yesterday I learned how to put a Band-Aid on professionally. So if I was with you, I could have saved your life. Oh. Just thought I'd tell Maybe you Maybe you should come with me to all appearances now. Well, no, no, that's just a Band-Aid. I was <laughs> doing it wrong. I had a paramedic on yesterday. So we were talking <laughs> to, about how to do something light and fluffy versus. So, but on a serious note, my son just left to go to the P.O. box for the charity and to pick up cards. Great. And I saw your link where people can actually just, we can just print them off. Oh my gosh, let me show you these because, you know, sometimes you just feel proud of yourself. I'm gonna say it. I love these. I love that I put them out there. I love that they're original. I love that they're free. I just, I love these. Okay. The sayings, I spent a little time like trying to think them up myself. And I just thought, this is just a nice thing. There's no money being exchanged here. There's no sponsorship. There's no corporate anything. It's just, how nice would it be to send a card like this or to receive a card like this? Yeah. And yeah. so that's what it is. I made up these quarantine cards. I don't know if you can read them. Apart, but in it together. Yeah, just backwards, but you're reading it You've to got, me. yes, safe. It's the best place to be. So Home. awesome home I'm glad you're there and just wanted to say hi safely so See, there's how four amazing. different cards and you can just use your home printer so I just printed a couple of a couple off like this they come out either landscape or portrait and did you print them on a regular cardstock or any paper I printed these on cardstock but the kids printed them out on regular printer okay. paper because they were just making them and I thought well, maybe we won't waste all the cardstock. I think that. <laughs> yeah, but pr plain printer paper, who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Plain printer paper is totally fine. Um, and then you just cut, like I'm just using a paper trimmer, but you can use your scissors right down the middle and score it right down the middle. Like that means just fold it. And then you've got some homemade cards to send. You can buy postage online. You can easily walk to the mailbox. And you know, this is the kind of thing we need to be doing for each other too. You know, I had, I was sending out literally dozens of masks and I put one in each, like, like just, I'm thinking of you, you know? 
And, yep. you know, going out to buy a card is probably not prudent at the moment. Maybe you can pick one up when you're out getting groceries, but I don't think, you know, there's real, I don't think Hallmark has something so specific. Um, yep. So why not? Why not? It's just a little something. Even if you're texting and FaceTiming and Zooming all these people, getting a little something in the mail is still great. You know what? Um, we send these cards in our shipments and still to this day, I don't know if you realize, I mean, the sadness is I'm now turning hospitals down. Um, I've never had such a high request for product, but as, as most charities and anybody else knows, this was our time as everybody else charities to do their fundraisers, their big galas and ours came and went and didn't happen. So we didn't raise the monies to ship out the product, but the difference is now, um, at least in the GTA and even as far as London, we have hospitals willing to come to my porch and wow. pick, up, pick up the craft kits. Um, so at least we know we're making a difference here. I mean, I feel bad when New York calls me and says, please, please, please. And I say to them, I, I and they call my daughter, like, because my daughter deals with the New York hospital. So they're emailing her and she's like, mom, what do I tell these people? I'm like, I'll be the mean person. You, you always get to be the shining sign. <laughs> smiling one i'll be the not well nice it's one. hard times and people yeah. are are grasping so i mean everyone's understanding but the fact that people can still send us cards and we can give them out that's huge so and an example is i'll even give out you know we put them in zip box i mean my son's gone to the p.o box so that by sunday when i do my thankful sunday segment i can touch them and showcase the cards yeah, because it's great. wednesday so i won't even touch them until sunday yeah so, and then I'll put them in a Ziploc bag for the hospital if they're for nurses or for doctors. And we label them for doctors, for nurses, for custodians. But, you know, I got to tell you, after having Sandy on yesterday, the Sandra, the paramedic, she said the local firehouses, the paramedics, they like receiving these cards too. I mean, yeah. so it's, it's not just the hospitals. And as much as I like to say, yeah, just ship them to me. You know what? If you can't make it out and you don't want to put a stamp on, go walk to your local just leave it in front of their yeah, doors there's a fire station near you i'm sure of it yeah 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 really and truly or go walk it to the you know the uh the the place you order food from yeah or your own neighbors in your, your neighborhood your neighbors you know i noticed you're wearing like a rainbow theme and and if you looked and which I think is amazing, and I'll tell you why. If you've looked at um, a lot of the windows that kids are doing now, I, I think it was in Britain that I saw the happiness where they yeah. were filling the rainbows and they had to do a scavenger hunt and how many rainbows you could find and how many blocks. And so you just, it's that rainbow cheery brightness. That's just what Aww. I thought of you. Know, that's what you are. So what's Thank your you. next craft project? Too. What's your next craft project you're going to teach? Not on our show, but in general, because you must be busy teaching crafting. Yeah, um, I have a live coming up um, on for Crafters Companion on Friday, and we're That's making um, fabric buntings and little zipper bags. Um, so those are going to be cute. I'm going to try to pre-make those today to kind of get a handle on. Hopefully, they go well. So for the person that isn't really crafting, understanding, oh, it's a bunting. Yep. What's a bunting? And then next week. What, wait, what's a bunting? Oh, it's like a bunting, like um, like a birthday banner. You know, like those oh, triangles, oh, yeah. like a yeah, fabric yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be quick okay. to, uh, to cut out. And the kind of thing that you can upcycle out of materials at home. Because, you know, kids are having birthdays during this time. We're not going to Party City, yes, that's for right. sure. Um, we can find a way to. And then we've got this great fabric or paper banner that we've made ourselves that we can bring out year after year. And it just goes with the whole becoming more self-sufficient and a little more sustainable. Um, so we're gonna teach you um, how to make that on Friday live. That's gonna be on the Crafters Companion Facebook page. And next week, believe it or not, uh, I've been doing a lot of live TV from right here. Um, I was scheduled to go on the shopping channel for Janome. I've been working on quilts and all kinds of different things with this great new machine that they've got coming out. And honestly, sewing machines, are selling like crazy people I know. because people are sewing. And so the shopping channel was like, um, we need to do this. We need to get you on and we need to get people sewing machines because what's great about the shopping channel is they just deliver right to you. That They're set up to do that already. So we're gonna have a bunch of great machines on next, on the 25th, is that Thursday, I think? 
Um, next no. Thursday. Is that the twenty fifth? No. What day is it? That's Honestly, the it's like that's the twenty third. Because the twenty fourth is a Thursday, and if not, then I really messed up. Okay, on maybe it's the twenty fourth. It's next week. I'm gonna post it. Twenty fourth. Something. I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore, right? <laughs> But I always look today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. I don't I, care I about think, the I don't care that's about why I the think day. it's gonna be next Thursday. Anyway, Thursday. we're gonna be live right from here. Uh the host is gonna be in studio apparently, or maybe she's at her house, I'm not sure. And we're going to do this sort of live um from home live sewing event on the shopping channel that's next awesome. week. Yeah, and well, so there's gonna be lots of supplies that people can get. And will you showcase uh, again the mask on sewing? Because I yes, know that I'm gonna show that's how going to be a uh, yeah pretty I'm popular. Show how to sew the mask, how to show sew the caps, the extenders. We're gonna try to focus on the things that people are focusing on. But will you grab me a couple of those quilt blocks, the home ones that we've been working on? So um, what about um, really just I noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, like just that kind of time people are making stuff. So, right, so, but yeah. I've also noticed the problem is, right, so people are running out of elastics and stuff. Yeah. Well, on your, on your channel, will they be selling elastics and stuff too, or no? Well, am I, like, am I wishing thread, a little yeah, thread? Yeah, thread, um, obviously the machines, cutting supplies. Um, they have to work a little bit with the, some of the people that they already work with. So okay. there is a focus on getting people more bobbins, uh, scissors, rotary cutter, a cutting table, cutting mats, things like that that they might not already have. Uh, okay. They're going to be able to easily uh, deliver. Uh, lots of people have like, you know, their mother-in-law's old sewing machine and they've been sewing masks already on it. And lots of people are going like, oh, I'm done with this machine. I, I like sewing. I know I do. I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to yeah, get a good yeah. one. So they're going to have sort of a range of machines. So if, if you just want to start versus if you're ready to like have some nice bells and whistles because sewing is really the kind of thing that you've been been doing. Um, there's a really great quilting machine I've been working on as a way to document this whole time. A, like on because I love paper crafting too. Uh, a bit of journaling, like a COVID journal with like kind of scrapbooking it all. But I'm also making my version of like a quarantine quilt which are like these little houses, um, you know, a home quilt because we've been home this whole time. And so I've got so far, I think 49 of these little houses sewn up and it's going to be a big home so, quilt. And this is going to be the one that in our family um, gets stamped with uh, COVID-19 2020. So now tell me with that home mask, because you're doing it at home and I, I see that your kids are getting involved. Yeah. Have you let them create their own one house for it? For sure. For sure. They've all been working on all of these little houses, like with me. We're all doing, we do oh, okay. a lot of this stuff together. At some point, their interest sort of wanes. And, and then I'm still, <laughs> I'm still doing it. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. They come in and out. They come in and out. Violet, uh, my daughter, is just off camera here. She's uh, watching diligently. And she's nodding and she's saying we're doing it too. And, um, they are good about participating. Around here, though, um, crafts are a bit like uh, housework. <laughs> like it, it's just always there. It's always there to be done. <laughs> Sometimes they tap into well, it more than other times. Now, Violet, I, I know you can hear me. I don't want to see you. It's fine if your mom doesn't want to show you. But here is the answer. Violet, I want to see your house on the quilt. And you sign your little name, Tyler, and say, Mom, she said, I, oh, Violet, I love the bling. So, Violet, help me cut and sew all of these houses, hey? How many do you think we cut that night? Yeah, speak up so everyone can hear. I think it was 39. Yeah, so it's all these so little pieces, awesome. Violet and I stayed up late doing ourselves. Um, but I like your idea of them like getting to right. like decorate or cut or draw or their own little version of what they do I mean, at it, home. I mean, if it's going to become your quilt, I mean, obviously, if you're going to put it in a museum and under that, I understand that. But if it's yours for your own house, I always say, let them do one that they can put their little say, see, did you like that, Violet? I've got you. I, I'm all for the creative for the kids. To do you throw remember Pamela when we met her at the ballet that night? Remember when we went to Cinderella? You were like really little. Don't worry about it. 
say, really, mom? I was little. Now you're putting the pressure on on camera. That's like no good. But I hear your, I watch you. Uh, you guys did that awesome thing, chalking. Wasn't that, you posted on, was yes, that your yeah, family? Yeah, on Easter morning. They got a big yeah. thing of sidewalk chalk. We got lucky and found that, uh, the Easter bunny. That was probably one of the most amazing things. There's kids in our neighborhood when I walk that do chalk. And I got to tell you, I saw the mother just the other day with her son. She was chasing him down the road. And yeah. I yelled to her, I said, this is the, my favorite house to always walk by because Aww. you always do chalk. So you know what? <laughs> if people don't thank you because they don't know you, just know that anybody that walks by your house, Violet, is always smiling and is probably waiting for your next artwork because that's what I do. I literally Aww. go out every day and walk and say, where do I get to find my next piece of art? Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. I really do love seeing that too. And I love, like you said, seeing the rainbows in the windows. Yeah. I know on St. Patrick's Day, there was like a, in our neighborhood, like a shamrock walk. How many uh, four leaf clovers could you find in windows? Like these are, these are great things for kids. Yeah, no, I agree. Listen, I, I don't want to keep you any longer. I got to tell you, this has been one of the most amazing shows I've had. I mean, I always think every show is amazing because this is so, you're used to talking to people all the time on camera. And then there's me who's just trying to bring a little bit of smile and happiness into someone's life, just even for 40 minutes or an hour or whatever it is. But I want to say thank you. Um, we're going to copy this because I, I know how to do that. And oh, we're going to wow. upload yeah, I know how to copy this like, segment. Up. Well, not really. My kids taught me. Don't push it. I bet you Violet knows how to do it, too. For the <laughs> Someone record. will copy it in your household. Yeah. yeah. So listen, I just can sound like I know what I'm doing. But, but you know what it, this means, Pam? You know what this means, Pamela? It means you're the talent. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go with that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So whoever was laughing at my pretty art here... Just remember, <laughs> Jennifer said, I am the talented one. Okay. Did you, yeah, don't be laughing. Listen, I did, I made this. Look at that. Oh, it's the you gave it a little, oh, it's good. It's like a, it's like a little thingy, you know, it's a paperweight. It's cute <laughs> for Father's Day. I don't know, it's cute. Come on, it's my bunny. Listen, I would part of that. I really she do. likes it. She likes okay, it. Okay, good. So you two can make it, except we'd have to find a different filler now because before we were using rice and I don't want people to use their food anymore. So now we have to think of this. You can use like, like cut up this. So it's just perfect. Yeah, your scraps. Your scraps, for sure. But seriously. Oh, yeah. What did she say? She said beans. Beans. I think she's saying that because we have bags of yeah, beans. Yeah, so that's... here's the problem. I too have bags of beans, but I got to tell you, unfortunately, I have a about 10 teen mental health hospitals that are going to be coming in the next two weeks in the GTA to come pick up product. And they're all the beads that go to them. And, they're the number one. And, yeah. and, yeah, that's and for the mental health wards, they are so, so therapeutic. So we don't, I can't do that to my beads, unfortunately, yeah, but sure. you can, you can, I will let you do that to your beads. You know what we could do? We could go outside and we could just get some sand and put it in a Ziploc bag. Don't, yeah. For flour. No, we're not wasting flour. We're not using any no, food, remember your sand mother, or rocks you... or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, anything. But you know what? But you've been awesome. Violet, you just made my day by being on the show. I mean, I love your mother, <laughs> but the fact you chose to be on the show, because getting my own kids to be on my show is like, uh, uh, uh. So I'm the, other two like... Are, the other two are going to go, what? She was on? No fair. Okay, well, you can right? tell them. Anytime they want to come on Pam's show, I will let them. Anytime. Okay. All right. And well, I'll just adopt you them. You might keep but... that message under wraps. <laughs> oh, but this is going to go live again. So, like, I'm going to make sure that that part is written down. It's public record. Yeah, public. But seriously, thank you so much, Jennifer. I'm Pamela from Crafting for a Cure, and this is Jennifer Tryon from, what's your company? How can they follow you? Uh, you can follow me uh, at jennifertryon.com or on Instagram, jennifer underscore tryon. And on Facebook, uh, Try On Homemade. Try On Homemade. Oh, I tagged you the wrong way. That's what I did wrong. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you personally. Sorry. Oopsie, I'll change that. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Jennifer, wait. Hold on. What? I forgot to do my last thing. What? Violet, you're going to do it for your mommy unless you want you to do it. You decide, Violet. Every guest that I ever have on has to answer my question. Okay. Ready? 
Ready, Violet? You ready? How long do you have to wash your hands for? How long do you have to wash your hands for? 30 seconds. Good job, because a lot of people only tell me 20, and then I say minimum 20. Now, I was going to say 22. I, I, I'm glad she beefed it up by 10. Okay, great. <laughs> so my next question is I make every guest tell me, and then they have to act it out with the song. Or maybe she sews something while she's washing her hand. I don't know. What do you do to make sure you've washed your hands for 20 seconds or 30 seconds? Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, whoever it is. Happy birthday to you. Yay! You, you did that pretty good. Yeah, I've heard the birthday song already. Yes, two days ago was my favorite. I was taught, stay in the light, stay in the light. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's you do good. that four times. <laughs> that's a good one. So that's what I always like to ask. I always like to end my segment on that. Why? Because it's important to always wash your hands even after you've been crafting before you go eat and do anything. Yeah. All righty. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I'm going to log you off. Bye, Bye. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Violet, for Thanks showing for up. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, ready? I log her off. I press this button. Remove Jennifer Tryon. There we go. Wow, that's me, Pamela. And I'm just about finishing my segment. They sing happy birthday in their household. More importantly, they are just one of the most craftiest families I've ever met. Please go follow her on her all of her different links. We'll make sure we put them up on our Facebook page either tonight or tomorrow. But by the weekend, you'll be able to see everything. It takes me a little longer, as you know, to upload stuff. But we will get hers up as quickly as we possibly can. This was a lot of information for me. I will be making my mask today. Don't worry. I will show it. But thank you again, Jennifer. It was an absolute pleasure. Keep on smiling. Don't forget to keep on physically distancing yourself, physical isolation, but keep up that social engagement. I'm Pamela from Crafting for a Cure. Have an amazing day.